Yeah, I guess I should get around to reviewing this, huh? What's up, YouTube? Graver here, and yes, I am finally getting around to reviewing the Aeon Pro. Uh, now, for any of you who are new to my channel, hello and welcome. But we're going to follow the my standard review operating procedures on this. Uh, we're going to go over the aesthetics, how this works, what it comes with first. Uh, we're going to go to the workbench, open this bad boy up, see what we're actually dealing with on the internals, and maybe come up with ideas for mods. Uh, I will throw it over the Saturnus to get numbers for those of you who enjoy those numbers. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on what I think of this thing. So going over the aesthetics of it, um, it's a tiny Nexus. And I mean, there's really not much more to say other than that. Uh, the design of the Nexus is actually very nice. And the design of the Aeon Pro is also very nice as well. Uh, there is absolutely zero paint on here. So obviously they took notes from nerf however they put a lot of detail into the shell just like with the nexus uh you do have adventure force molded into the uh blaster itself here along with aeon pro and all the other little uh things and powered by and powered by the ptdz and coloring isn't terrible i mean the nexus pro is basically it's again same thing it's the two-tone orange the dark gray grip dark gray prime along with the white panels and from what it looks like just looking at the blaster itself it does look like those panels are going to be removable just like they were in the nexus so but we'll see that more when we get into the blaster itself uh, moving up to the front, you do have a small bit of uh, Picatinny-like rail up here. So if you wanted to add a sight to it, like a half iron sight or whatever, uh, you can definitely put that up there. The rail should accommodate it, no problem. However, that is the only accessory rail you do have for this. Uh, the front muzzle flash muzzle hider flash hider what this thing like on the nexus is removable so if you wanted to swap it out for a worker piece or a worker muzzle brake a worker scar barrel or another type of scar barrel i'm not just saying worker because it's the first thing that came to my mind i'm sorry but it is removable and i'll be honest i actually do like the form factor better with it um and speaking of the form factor uh there are those who will say this is a pistol uh some say it's uh more cqb styled or whatever i i just say it's a small nexus <laughs> but i'm more in the camp of it's not really a pistol but i'd say without the flash it definitely makes it more pistol like uh just because if it was a pistol, it wouldn't have the giant chunky magazine sticking out, but that's just me. Um, but speaking of the magazine, uh, that's the only really other accessory that it comes with other than the flash hider. Now, this is actually able to fire full length along with the half length darts. I don't just have the adapter and the half length magazine in here just because I favor the half length darts. This is all that it comes with. Even though it can fire full lengths, it does not come with a full length magazine, nor does it come with full length Adventure Force Pro darts. Uh, it only comes with Adventure Force half length darts and the half length magazine. Now, to actually operate it, uh, as I said, this is the Prime. So it basically works just like a Retaliator, Recon, and uh, you know where I'm going with it. So, top Prime, pull it back. You would at this point either load your magazine or whatnot slide forward pull trigger rinse and repeat now with the adapter it's just like the one that comes with the nexus pro so if you don't want to remove the adapter and you have other half length mags you can just use this to actually remove it now the one good thing with this is it has a huge opening in the top that with a little bit of skill 
and maybe some older-ish darts, you could probably more likely than not actually just start top loading this thing rather than having to switch a magazine. I mean, I'm sure it would be a lot easier to switch a magazine, but if you're running low or you're on your last one and you need to scoop up some darts, you can just do that and that'll be very nice and easy. So, and it also does have a safety on it. Uh, the left side is safe, right side is fire, which I will be disabling because I am a left-handed person and if it's anything like the Nexus one, I'm really not going to be able to flip it like I did with the dart zone. Uh, again, shout out to Psych for the idea on that one. But that's really it for the aesthetics and how this thing works. So let's just go to the workbench, open this up, and see if we can get some ideas out of it. Okay, so for sake of time, I have unscrewed everything like I normally do. And I've made sure, and believe me, everything is unscrewed. Um, and if you're wondering why there are parts there, it's because I'm an idiot. And I already did the entire internals of it. Um, sorry you missed it because I'm a dumbass and it didn't record. So I'm redoing all of it, but I'm not putting the parts back in because it's not worth my time. And I'm going to point it out and tell you why I took those out. So anyway, what you'll want to do is you'll want to start off by first taking off the priming grip and the, uh, the actual pistol grip itself. Once you take the priming grip off, there is a hidden screw right there that you will have to remove. And once you take off the pistol grip, there is also another screw underneath that. So before you can actually open this up, you have to make sure you take those two out. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to figure out what the hell's going on. So, and also on a side note, this front section, you technically don't have to unscrew it. I did. Uh, just to show you what is in there, but this is actually on the inside of the lighter orange shell. So you technically don't have to unscrew those, but again, if you want to, you, you can. So taking that shell off, we have the internals here. Now, internals for this are ridiculously simple, much like the Dexus. Like I said earlier, this is a Nexus, just smaller. So Starting off here, I'm going to work my way. I'm going to start here in the heart and, heart and meat and potatoes of it and then move forward. Now, back here, you have basically everything that the springer, that most springers all have. You have your plunger tube, you have your plunger and your spring, and they're all housed in the plunger tube itself. Um, it's all a contained unit. It's held on. The spring is actually held in place by this ring. Not too dissimilar from the back of the buffer tubes on the Nexus Pro themselves. Um, the only thing is though, both use a floating plunger head. The only thing is though, this one you need to take a little bit more care with because with the Nexus Pro, you need a spring that fits the buffer tube. This, you can use a smaller spring but because of not just the way that the plunger works or the plunger head works, the way the back end of this works as well, if you have a spring that is too small of a diameter, there is a hole back there that actually could, the spring could actually pop out of. Um, so I know that Drac has made uh, or actually does have springs for this that do not only tune it up, but also can tune it down. So, you know, that is definitely one option for you to go. Outside of that, I really haven't seen too, too many options on what to do in regards to the spring power on this thing. So there is that. Uh, here you have the trigger, which is screwed in, and you have your trigger spring there. The safety lock here, which I am leaving in, however, I already have um, fixed it, so to speak, because you can see here where those two light or whitish orange pieces are, that's actually where the safety lock was. Uh, I removed it because I am left-handed, and 
this is a fire right safety left blot setup so i would be constantly hitting this thing into safe which doesn't work for me i could flip it around but i didn't really want to bother with all of that and besides once i remove that nub this thing doesn't matter it could be in fire or safe mode and it will work no problem uh, here you have the magazine release, and this is for the main magazine, uh, not the adapter. The adapter has a separate one for your half-length darts. This is the one that actually releases the adapter or your full-length darts. You have your breech here. Now we're getting into the portion of where I remove these things from. These are the uh, slide lock and also a trigger lock. The trigger lock prevents you from depriming the blaster. This actually prevents you from removing the slide forward. So if you were kind of like half priming it and you realize you didn't want to prime it, you could gen just slide it forward. With that in place, you wouldn't be able to do that. I removed those because, again, I'm not a big fan of them, nor have I ever really been. Some people keep them in. I know Xavier Towns, they're there for a reason, but I feel like I've been doing this long enough that I'm okay removing them. Also for the fact that I would like to deprime this thing rather than having to constantly cover the front muzzle. Um, it's To me, it's just... For me, it's easier. You, may, you can leave it in. It will work totally fine if you leave them in. However, if you remove one, you have to remove both. Because... In my initial round, I just removed that piece, not the spring, this thing. The spring actually goes with that. And I left this clear part, which actually goes in, which actually you have to take the white piece apart in order to remove it because it sits right under there. And this is just held together with two screws. Again, all same size. I removed it. Um, this is actually also is kind of functional too. It's not just cosmetic for the white pieces uh this is actually also holding the plunger tube in place so you know there you go on that but yeah i just removed that one orange piece and this was actually then preventing me from actually firing the blaster properly because it didn't have its component to constantly be releasing that so i said screw it and i just removed it so there's that now once you're here it gets obviously stupid simple because it's barrel uh you have the breech here you have your aluminum barrel here and then like i said you don't have to unscrew this yellow the yellow orange piece because all that's in it is the barrel connector for your muzzle brake or whatever else you're going to do use it for so that's it for the internals of this thing uh again very simple very easy to work with um for the most part uh yeah that's really it so i'm gonna button this thing back up and then the next thing we're gonna move on to is gonna be the fps readings so i'll see you in a second for that okay so i have the saturnus set up along with my phone so i'll be able to do the picture in picture thing along with the box that i shoot darts into so hopefully everything will read properly and I won't have any hiccups. Uh, <laughs> uh, but right now what I have is I have the Adventure Force Pro uh, half-length mag loaded with Adventure Force darts. We're going to take five shots, get the average, see how it's doing with these because that's what it comes with. And then for giggles, I'm going to put some... Uh, worker gen threes through on this wonderful red talon mag that i got from out of darts and also very nice decal that i picked up from nerdy girl empire i believe uh go check them go check both out so really cool not sponsored just really awesome people that i was working with on that so let's get the adventure force pro darts going yeah Woo! so five shots Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Very good. 
Ooh, that was a bit of a spicy. That was really spicy. <laughs> but there you have it. So that is the Adventure Force Pro Darts. Now, I don't know why I took the adapter out. It's because I'm a schmuck. But now we're going to try the worker darts. See how well those work. Okay, Saturnus is reset. And we'll continue. So, five shots, worker, gen three darts. Not bad. That's what I was figuring. That was actually kind of spicy for the worker. Huh. Okay, a little bit all over the place, but that's honestly what I kind of expected from the worker darts. I don't know why, but yeah. So let me get this cleaned up and the camera facing the, not really the right way because it's, okay. let me get the camera set up and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay. So my final thoughts on this thing, um, yes. you are getting Nexus Pro performance out of something that is literally half the size and even though I haven't mentioned it yet, half the cost. Yes, the cost for this thing is 25 United States dollars. That is not on sale. That is not a glitch in the matrix. That is what this thing retails at in Walmart online and in store $25 $25 for a blaster out of the box that hits 150 FPS I've been in this hobby for quite some time and I swear never in my wildest dreams would I thought we would have gotten something like this? Um, yeah, it's, I mean, I really don't know what else to say about it. It's the versatility of it is ridiculous because much like the, it's predecessors, the dart zone pro, the Nexus pro, it fires half length and full length darts. So while out of the box using Adventure Force Pros half lengths. This may be a little hot for, I would say, most HVZ games. You use the Worker Gen 3s or full length darts, and you'll be able to use this no problem. And I mean, even like the comfort factor for it really is nice. I mean, the grip is good. The top prime, I'm not a fan of, but even. I have to say this isn't terrible um, and I mean you already got people working on all different types of upgrades and updates on this I've seen um, new uh, you know repicking rail um, versions of this ones where it's you have a full wraparound so you have rails on top and the bottom uh, I know Drac has like a whole line out of stuff, including replacement springs, which are actually really cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's $25. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. That Honestly, for 25 bucks, you're getting a blaster that can use everything that you have in your arsenal. Full length darts, half length darts. Um, with the muzzle attachment, I know Walcom did a video on it. You can fit a mega dart or a rival round in the front of the thing. So yeah, this literally can fire anything, but again, being most versatile, it fires full length and half length darts at really good ranges. Well, really good velocity, at least for $25. I mean, yes, yes, yes. 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 I really have nothing else to say about it because 
what else is there to say? Well, that's going to be it for this video. So if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Aeon Pro. Have you just painted it up? Have you gotten any of the 3D kits for it yet? Have you tried doing springs, barrels, whatever? Let me know down in the comments below. I really do enjoy reading all of them. And ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. But again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.